Yo, what's going on, T-shirt buddy? What's up with you? What's man? up, fam? A Facebook, Facebook Live. We Facebook Live tonight, huh? <laughs> what's up, my brother? How are you? Now, can you plug it up over there? Give me the extension core, make it work, and get to me, please, baby. I appreciate you. What's going on with you, Ruben? Man, I just got off live. I was over there with um with Victor Pena, Omni Prince. We're talking about his conference and everything. We're talking about conferences. You know, this is how I hit you about yours earlier. Okay. And um, that that was one of the topics, man. Is is how, how are we moving now in the t-shirt biz for those of us who've been, you know, content creating for a minute? And yeah, uh, conferences is what came up. Is that the new form? Is that where we're all going now in order to continue to grow our platform? Not just financially, but is that where we're going, bro? You know, and so uh, I thought about you because I, I asked him, I said, you know, I'm seeing a lot of my friends creating conferences and things like that. And he was like, I think it's an excellent thing. That is where we need to go, you know? Yeah. So hopefully I can make yours, man, if I don't make it out to Texas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where, where, where are you located again? I, I'm in Sacramento now. Okay, Sacramento. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, you know, if you can make it, you can come on through, man. I'd love to share the share this share the room with you you feel me you man have a good time because you know we, we've been sharing the stage together for a while you feel me oh, so, yeah. yeah remember them yeah them clubhouse nights and all those things right i so, miss them bro that's that's what's up man so for people that don't know who you are right <laughs> off, off the cuff right now they just throw a little podcast thing going on right for people that don't know who you are ruben tell, yeah. tell the community tell the community a little bit who you are man yeah, yeah, obviously, you know, Ruben, but I go by the uh, the T-shirt buddy, you know, and um, like, like you know, my, my boy E, man, it's just, you know, we're just out here dropping knowledge, helping other people become entrepreneurs, you know, um, being able to, you know, to scale your platforms, you know, and just motivating you, you know, to, 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 to know that it, this is possible, you yeah. know, um, you said something earlier where, you know, it, the consistency, right, for me is I've been in the game for a long while. I didn't go full time with my business until COVID hit, you yeah. know, and the moment that I was like, you know, today I'm gonna do a t-shirt. My first piece of content was like, ding, 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 super color, Reyes, Stan, right? And I wasn't ready for them yet, you know, but it did for me. I, I, could, I can say it almost happened overnight. Mm -hmm. I think at one point in our clubhouse, you was like, dude, I keep seeing your name, you know. Everywhere, like, yo. It? <laughs> yeah, it's consistency. Yeah. You know? And I think, you know, on top of consistency, what I can say is if, if you want to grow in the, in, the, in, the, in the arena that we're in, you know, both Erasmus and I, is um, it goes beyond just taking the picture of, mm. of a garment, right? It goes beyond that. It's, there has to be something to you because there are plenty of people that uh, I can tell you right now will, will poop on me, you know, as far as like being able to to, to layer vinyls, being able, you know, like they, their understanding of things, photoshops, whatever it is, right? Right. The difference between you and I and them is the consistency and the fact that there's this thing about you where it's like, I'm gonna turn this camera on, you know, and I'm just gonna go, right? So you can have amazing product, you can be so super knowledgeable, right? But if you're not sharing and if you're not being consistent with it, and if you don't, if, if, I mean, of, of course, there has to be some type of character with it too, right? Yeah. You know, there has to be something you offer to people that's, that engages them and says, you know what? like. I'm about to watch everything that they do. You yep. know what I mean? I know when you come on, I'm like, okay, what's, what's he got going on today? Yeah. He got some paper. You know, I caused a few fights with that damn paper, though, by the way, E. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's crazy. Cause it's the truth. Not because you're just my, not because you're my boy, but the truth is some of the best sublimation paper, if not my top one, is always yours, you know, because that detail. But again, it's um being able to go beyond just the T-shirt. Like, what do you have to offer, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and teach and so yeah I, I i'm always excited for you brother and i'm always yeah. you know hoping for the best for you man i appreciate you man appreciate you watching watching from 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 far man watching from far yeah. and employing you know just employing yeah. everybody at their own move their own lane you know and just watching people do them the way that they bring value right and with all without all the the need for the applause and all that stuff yeah right? you just gotta Stay, stay focused, stay tunneled in, and just, just keep growing, you know. But yeah, I was telling, I was telling the people a little bit about like there's levels, man. You know, I, I, yeah. I, I mean, because I, I say there's levels because I've been through the levels. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's why I say there's levels. You feel me? And I'm calling this like that, that grow lunch and skill type of level, right? And right. Most entrepreneurs are stuck into that, into that lunch, lunch, lunch mode for a long time. You feel me? Right. Like 
Right. That's where that's where they're still trying to figure all these things out and try to figure out what it is that I need to do. What direction should I go? What machine should I get? Like in that lunch mode is when you invest the money, the uh, ton of yeah. it, right? And right. then like eventually you figure all that stuff out. You you build that infrastructure, right? Then you got to get into the mindset now. Like, shoot, I've launched this thing. I need to grow now. Like, right. how can I grow? You know, what 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 else do I have to figure out to grow? And what I realized for me for growth, like I had to find a way to do it easier and then also have more to offer. Right. You know I mean, so it's like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do this anyway, like I'm gonna grow into this thing here, like I literally have to follow those two things. Like I gotta figure out what else I can offer and how I can just do it a little bit more faster. You know what right. I mean, and that's some like in that stage now i had to figure out some things i had to let go yeah you know yeah, I mean? yeah you have to let go some of the things some of the things like then you still start to test some things because technology changed we we're having conversation about this what clubhouse with dtf and all yeah, those things and they right? thought i was crazy that man and I, I was one of the ones that was challenging you like come on bro get yeah, out of here that look, stuff is not look, there look yet and that, all that right? stuff. You know what I mean? right and then yeah. like Next thing we know, if, if I had just sat there and be like the blockbuster and things, right, and just watch that thing just and just go right by you and let yeah. that technology switch on you and sit like and be stagnant, then you're not gonna grow, right? Like right. you have to you have to grow with the technology. You feel what I mean? So absolutely like where like where now, where 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 are you in your journey? Do you like where where do you find yourself right now in in, in in this in this entrepreneurship journey well you know um it's funny you say you have to let you have to let some things go um i th i think i always ask people and this is one of the things i get from victor too victor Pena of omni prince one of my mentors honestly and so man i was supposed things... to be i was actually today i was supposed to be flying out in california today i was supposed to actually do a tour in his building today yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be I'll, I'll be there soon yeah yeah you know <laughs> I was supposed yeah. to be over there but i had a, i had a reposition because i had a big yeah. day tomorrow yeah, yeah, I, I had the same thing happen, but you know, one of the, one of one of the key things that that he he's always asked me, or he'll ask the people that he that you know he employs is, what is your why? Like, why are yeah. you doing this in the first place? You know, and I think that a lot of times is uh, I witnessed it. You know, I, I think I tried to explain to people is it almost ha it happened almost overnight for me in the t-shirt biz per se, right? Yeah. But but I'm also a former boxer, so I, I I'm still in the boxing community. These are I, the guys that are fighting today champions these are my friends right but now yeah. I'm, I'm also i'm also heavily involved in the music industry so i had those two things already mm -hmm. so i knew business i knew how to strategize you know my way into this thing and i knew what it was lacking right and so right. i think anytime you get into something is you know deep be a student of the game is what i tell people be a student, be a student of the game, game. Yep. right like what makes you stand out i knew they the the, the teacher industry doesn't have my crowd at all they don't have the, the people I'm connected to, not in, not, not in, a, uh, in a humble way, I'm saying. So I knew, okay, if I, if I use my network mm -hmm. and you know, use them for content, because remember, I think we talked about this on Clubhouse, I eventually became the t-shirt DJ, right? Yeah. Right. And so I, you know, all my friends are like, I got a single coming out. I need a couple shirts pressed. Can you play my music in the background? And that caught on like fire. You know what I mean? So I knew where I belonged. So you got to study, man. St st study what it is that you're, you're trying to be involved in. And if you're trying to be involved, this, this would be my biggest advice. If you're trying to be an influencer, then you're probably looking at it the wrong way. Because uh -huh. I didn't get in this to be an influencer at all. I got in right. this to talk about my journey and vlog it. And it just happened to turn into what it turned into, right? But I was looking for something that's going to be my career. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I really want to do this. You know, if you're trying to be an influencer, influencer, that means you're watching people like the stands, the riches, the brandos, the use, the eyes. And you're thinking that, okay, cool, like they must be making tons of money. Let me tell you, they call a starving artist in the music industry. I am a starving <laughs> t-shirt artist. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. It's not like that. We're still yeah. working. We're still grinding, right? But we're just trying to educate people in the sense of like, if you want to, because you get what you put into it at the end That's of the day. It. I knew for me, the key thing was, I don't give a damn what I got to do. Mm -hmm. The last thing I'm trying to do is go back to that cubicle I was stuck in for nine years before COVID. No, that's right. Yeah, right. You know, and so when I think about it for myself, 
is when I say you get what you put into it is there are moments that this is going to be boring. I, I wake up. I don't want to press no shirt, bro. I don't want to weave. Mm. No, I don't even want to press a transfer. Of course but not. I know, yeah, but I know like I'm in control of my destiny. I'm in control of my business. If I don't do it, it's not going to work. And if I right. don't do it, I'm going back to the cubicle where I had this lady telling me, you know, you need to call my line. Let me know when you're going to break. Call my line. Let me know when you're going to pee. You know, you know, like, I don't want nobody to tell me when I can go pee, when I can vacation. And look, this is the worst part is in, in knowing that if I get sick, if I get sick today, I'm so easily replaceable. You wouldn't give a damn about me. You, you know what I mean? about you, bro. Not at oh, all. Right. And if I feel sick today, I have to, I have to almost beg you to let me have the day off. And in order to prove to you I'm sick, you want me to run down and get you a doctor's note. Mm. So now I got, right. So it's like, for me as an entrepreneur with that entrepreneur mindset, I could not take another moment of have, having somebody dictate my future. And it's so beautiful. Not to say that nine to fives aren't great, because they are. If you find one you love, hey. But for someone with my mindset, so someone with the creativity, I, I mean, my mind is like a, a million miles per hour. I'm thinking of yeah. designs and fonts and colors and I can't sit in a cubicle and let that go to waste, you know what I mean? And on top of that, the age of retirement, my brother, today for us, you know, 65, 70? Yeah. 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 So you're telling me I got 30 more years? Right. No, 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 30 more years to live a life of a couple years. I want that today. And in fact, I'll say this and I'll leave you with this is I, I believe in what I'm doing so much so. And remember, you have to believe in your abilities more than anybody else because they won't believe in it until you do, right? That's it. I believe in it so much that I, I cashed out my 401k, right? Wow. Because I'm like, hold on. And I'll tell you what it is. So I spent my 401k started with this company in 2013. I got it back, you know, a couple of days ago. And um, I was like, okay, so it only made, and I'll tell you guys, I'm, I'm honest. Just don't try to come rob me because I got two dogs and you, you can't get past them. <laughs> but I was like $37,000. So you're telling me from 2013, 2022 right $37,000 is all I all I made and that's all I that's that's my that's my retirement so that means I got to spend another 10 years or whatever else investing in this company right so if in 10 years if I make 37,000 now so maybe 70,000 in 10 mm. brother and this is to anybody out there and look I took three four months off because of the pain I was going through in my life I made 60,000 alone in just doing t-shirts in one yeah. year. Yeah. So if you're telling me I can do 60 in a year, not even a year, in nine months, what can I do in 12? But, mm. but if I stay at this job, my savings retirement plan is that same exact thing that I'm going to make in 10 more years. So I cashed it out. I believe in myself and I'm, and I'm jumping right into the embroidery machine, the DTF <laughs> machine, because I can make that back immediately. It's, it's how much do you believe in you? That's it. That's it, brother. Your your six your six figure year is right around the corner, man. You <laughs> because that, yeah, that's that's funny you said that. Like it's it's a page. There's a page in yeah. my book right here, bro. And it literally just says, "Skilling with and he press to six figures and beyond." I mean, yeah. like you yeah. just you literally just read that page in my book. I hope y'all see that. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. that, that was a brain dump the other day, and that's 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 something I'm working on, right? Because that's something that can be done with just oh, yeah. the heat press right and the the funny part like <laughs> i go back to where like it started with the heat press it started with just the t-shirt and that 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 and beyond part like that's when you start figuring out other ways to strategize from now that 60 that 60 now right figure out how you can get that extra 40 to get right. to that that six figures that people was talking about and that that might not even be with pressing shirts. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. it's not, but it's still within that platform that right. is based around your heat press. You know what I mean? So when right. I say scaling with a heat press, I'm not saying being over there pressing shirts. You know what right. I mean? But because you have niched it and you're known as the t-shirt buddy, like, right. you know what I mean? So now you got to figure out now what else can you offer within that area, right? That's where, that's when I figure out, for me, it's like, okay, I've been providing all these value for people. I think now for me to offer more, I got to now put this idea into some type of system and start teaching more people about yeah. it. Yeah. 
You know I mean? And that's yeah. when the courses came about for me, right? And it was like, oh, yeah, it's time to skill this thing. You know what I mean? Right. And that skilling level, that beyond was when I, like, I got into just teaching people. You know what I mean? Right. He pressed university. Like that, he first university was a was a like it was. That's when that beyond came. Right. I mean, because yes, it started with just the heat press. So when I tell people, yes, you can skill to six figures and beyond with a heat press. I'm not saying you're sitting there and you're pressing shirts to equal six figures, man. Like right, right, right. That's gonna get you there. But now you gotta figure out how else can you branch off. What else have you built within this? I mean, in your documentation, what else? Right. Like what else is good there that can help? And bring value to people. I mean, yeah, so for yeah. for me, I like that's that's just my things. I'm speaking it into your existence now. Like yes, the next step is for you to figure out how can you put something together to give to the people, man. Because like they want it. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. they want they want more from you than just than just like the content, bro. I mean, right. there's right. people there's people now that want to know how. How how the t-shirt buddy is able to to get customers in the music industry. You know what I mean, right. put that in the system. You know what I mean, and yeah. give that. That's gonna get you to that next level, right? That's how you figure out what else you can offer to the people in your network now. Like, shoot, right. you see everybody. Everybody's got an ebook out. You know what I mean, where's the yeah. t-shirt buddy ebook? You know I mean, like that's how you start working out that. now. How you get into the yeah. next? You know what I mean, yeah, that, that's what we're working on now. It's funny because. Couple couple pieces of content ago, one of my one of my brothers, you know, he was like, dude, he's like, I sit here and your phone rings all day, and it's a million questions. And he was like, and I see you shoot content on it, and they still keep asking you the same question because you know my phone number is on my Instagram, right, or my you know my business WhatsApp number which connects to my phone. I don't mind answering. I'm picking up all day long, right? He's like, man, you you you, you need you need to put it in the book. So immediately when he said that, I was like, oh damn, ding ding ding, it's in the book. So I'm, yeah. I'm thinking commercial in my head, right? You know, and so I'm trying to shoot commercials and everything like that. And that's really what it is, is because yeah. um, you, you can teach them. You can teach mm -hmm. them so much. But yeah, but if you, if you have true value, it's in the book. You know what I mean? It's in the book. <laughs> it's in the book. And that's, that's the slogan. It's in the book. You'll find that. If you want to know how I grew this, you want to know everything, every step I took, which is probably unorthodox compared to the way that everybody else came in and what I do now. Who cares how right. they came in? You feel me? Right. Because we 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 want we wanted we wanted the t-shirt buddy way. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want you my don't way. It's painful. Yeah. It's, hey, it's, the, the 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 pain is part of the process, my boys. Yeah. Is that messy oh, message, yeah. my man? I mean, yeah. is that messy message, man? Like nobody wants to listen to that good news, bro. Like we we want right. that messy stuff that has the testimony on the other side. You know what yeah. I mean? Because ooh, like ooh. that's that's what that's it is, big, bro. That's big. You said that because I tell people all the t all the time. Again, I'm not in it for the money, right? You know, you know, God, God God's gonna bless you with riches of all kind of forms, right? That's it. But um, you know, when I say you know your your testimony will help somebody else, right? But your testimony, right? Your testimony is your bank account. That's it. I, I you know, and I hope that people don't take it the wrong way. I'm not saying you know, hey, I'm, I'm in it for the money, but I'm saying like. Your testimony can open up so many doors. It's not just for someone that's going through what you're going through, but it is, right? So my testimony, my there's financial gain behind that, right? And so when I shoot content, I, I always think it's easy to get behind a press and press a shirt. Anybody can do that, right? I'm not that influencer, quote unquote. I'm not that guy. If you're coming to my page, yeah, you're seeing me use these different products, promote these certain people. But I'm not the stands. I'm not the riches. I'm not those guys. I'm giving you my testimony while I'm pressing a, pressing a shirt. You know, so you're seeing my walk, whether it's depression, PTSD, I'm happy, I'm not. You know, I just, I just lost my house. You know, they didn't take it. I had to sell my house under, under uh, like I was saying earlier, under a situationship that I was in, not a relationship. My situationship made me lose my house, right? But the one thing I always say, I can take my heat press to a park and plug in and I'm pressing orders. Fire up the that. heat press, baby. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. But it's in sharing my testimony, right? That's engaging people. So I think that if you if you got a smartphone, I, look the hell with these big old cameras. If you can afford it, go for it. Your phone is the key to so many doors, right? Mm -hmm. Fire right that thing up. Yeah, turn that phone on, man, and share who you are. If you're not afraid to, I'm not afraid to be myself. I'm not afraid to be exactly who I am. And I think that. 
when you tie in your product, the sublimation papers, whatever, whatever you have, right? See, I know, I know E. I've gotten to know E, right? And the reason I invest in E and what he does is because I know him. So I'm I'm investing in this product, but I'm really investing in him. I'm gonna use this product, yeah. right? Yeah. And so I always tell people, look, I anyone can press you a shirt, right? But you don't realize that what the reason you're coming to me is that I gave you that relationship, right? And so I think if when you're shooting content, you 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 wanna you wanna get people to to feel as though there's that connection. I don't want someone to be like, hey, how you doing, bro? No, I want to change that and be like, you know, I want I want to hear how you doing, fam. Fam mm -hmm. is different than bro, whatever else. Fam is that connection, like, okay, now yep. we're connected. You're calling me fam, right? So if we're fam, we're supporting each other. So That's you want to you want to, yeah, you want to get your crowd to feel like I know him. Like, you know, even if they've never met you, they don't know who you are from a can of paint, but they still feel like I watch them so much, they actually reply back to me. They're engaging mm -hmm. to me. It's like going to church, brother, right? When I'm delivering a message, look, it's for somebody out there, right? But you're going to feel like, man, this, that was directed to me today. Now here's more of a connection, you know? So you want to engage your crowd, bring them into your life. If you're sharing your life, then, you know, understand that that's what's going to get these people to really follow what you do. So look, at, at some point in your life, you might be able to fart in a jar. They might buy, buy some fart in a jar. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But yeah. it's really you. And as long as you have, and that, that's, the, that's the it thing that, that you have to have. What about you is so comparable to somebody else's life? What about you makes me want to, because I can buy a shirt from anybody. I can yeah. buy a celebration from anybody. But what about you makes me say, hold on, like, there's something to this person. Mm -hmm. I, 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 right? And so that's what it is. Build a platform where, you know, you're not afraid to show who you are. Fire that phone up because everything is content. I, look, the, he, ha, he, he has a projector back up there, right? Yep. Man, that's content. I just, I, I just gave you guys some content. Oh man, I'm sitting here with my boy. He's got a projector back down. I wasn't gonna watch tonight. That's Fifteen it. seconds, ten seconds. I just gave you content. Everything is content. Yeah. Utilize it. People, yeah, we a lot of, yeah, a lot of people overthink the content thing. You know, the <laughs> thing like for them to do content, that means they gotta fire up the heat press. They gotta do all that. No man, content. Yeah. Just turn on the phone on, and the, the the platforms make it easy. They put the story up. They're like, man, they ain't even gotta <laughs> yeah. stay there. Just just click that button there. Leave that's something it. there because, like, that's that's where they want you to go. They want you to just do something fast. I mean, just it's fast. Do it fast. You don't have yeah. to set up all these fancy things anymore. You know, like you can build a platform somewhere somebody's going to run to you and that's what's going to have you that's what's going to really have you skilling with that heat press you feel me because you've built a, right. a platform right that was all based around that t-shirt buddy but all right my there boy it's been good that's, hanging out with that's, you that's man you. we just popped in popped yeah. out of here i'm gone i've been hanging out with you, I'm you, a you my man yeah